Yo, what's up guys? This is Soul.RC and today I just want to give you an update on my new build that I've been working on. Uh, my last video I shared uh, was on this cab body here, how I messed up on the paint job and stuff and it was horrible. I tried to go with the metallic blue on it and it was my bad, you know, when I had painted it previously, I had rushed the process so it was all messed up, you know, so eventually I just I just cut out all the windows on the cab body, front and rear side, and uh, that took care of that. And I just painted the body black from the outside to cover up that blue. So it kind of gave it a flat, a flat black look because I had used black on the inside after I had painted it metallic blue the first time. So I think it came out pretty cool, but I'm still gonna get another cab body for this. So this is just temporary for now with, with this color, but I actually like the way it looks. But anyways, uh, this, this build that I'm working on, this was my Alamin Enduro Sendero uh, titanium uh, truck chassis. Uh, so what I've done is for this body to work on it, it's the Proline comp wagon body as you see on the side. Um, my rear shock tires, my rear shock towers on my front, uh, they're from Samix uh, and I like the product. I've had it already on there even before getting this body though, but uh, it's going to work well with with the custom rear bed that I'm gonna have done. Uh, so I should get that hopefully within the, the week or so so I can complete this build. Um, but anyways, what I did with some changes was from the body, I had to change the sliders on it. Uh, so these sliders right here, if you look closely, these are aftermarket and they're from, they're from, I don't know if you guys heard, but these are from IERC and this dude has amazing products there guys I review or I I suggest you check them out you know for a lot of your comp builds or any kind of build this guy has a lot of good stuff on there so so I got my sliders uh, from him that's made for this, this this chassis here and then also too I also got this front bumper right here from him as well it's a it's a two bar bumper with a fair lead on it dude that thing looks sick um, so, but these sliders and bumper are made for this body. So when I look at how smooth that goes on right there. Now, what I like about this is, uh, it's going to give me a lot of more clearance, obviously, and a more of aggressive look on it. So there's a few more things I want to do to this. Uh, I still have all the, the stock electronics on it, but eventually I'm going to, you know, change it up and do some more things to it. But anyways, uh, when you look at the rear cab body of the part right here, where the drive shaft is at, you can see there's a small hole right here that I cut out right here to kind of clear the the drive shaft, you know, so when it's articulated now, that's not gonna hit. So that, that worked out good. But anyways, I just wanna give you guys a quick update of the, my build that I'm working on. So this is pretty much, it's not a licensed body obviously, but it's pretty much, the Dodge body that Proline makes the, I think it's a 64 Dodge, I believe, but you know, this is the comp wagon body. So it's pretty much the same, but it's not licensed, but it, I've always wanted to try this build. So I'm almost done with it. So I'm just waiting for that rear bed, a custom rear bed that a guy's making for me. So I should be getting that hopefully within the next week or so, and I should be done. And then, uh, like I said, upgrade the electronics as I go, but I'm happy with the build. I love it. Um, to be continued so anyways hope you guys like and subscribe uh, if you haven't please hit that notification bell and appreciate everybody uh, watching my videos all right you guys have a good one peace